Assalamu alaikum students. To this video, I'm going to guide you about the simple layout of Gmail that we have been using for a long time. Now, what we need to do is we need to learn the different basics or different parts or components of this email. I'm sure that you have been emailing your entire life in different capacities, but today we are going to look at the usages in detail. Now, as you can see over here, we have CC, right? Then we have BCC. Now we need to learn the usages of these two as well. If you, if you look at this two, it means to select contacts, right? You have different contacts. For example, you know, my email address, that is Sadia, when you add, I, I add you to PK. So you add my name and you send me an email. So I am your addressee. Then you have CC. Let's say that you have to send the carbon copy to somebody else and in order to keep them into loop. So you use this. This is also for selecting contact, but it is called carbon copy. Let's say that we have to add um, chairman EE, right? Fine. So we add him over here to keep him in the loop. Now, what about BCC? BCC is blind carbon copy. This is also to send a copy to somebody so that they don't know who is in the loop. Now, the receiver, for example, me, will see who is in the CC, but I will not be able to see who is in BCC. That is why it is called blind carbon copy. So let's say that we are going to add, uh, you know, director IIE, right? This, these are just examples. That doesn't mean that we are going to add these people over here. What about subject? Now, subject is important in order to make it very easy for the receiver that what are you sending and why you are sending. For example, let's say one of you are going to send me an assignment submission. You simply write submission dash assignment one. And you can, uh, you know, mention your degree. Right, this is one way of sending your subject. You do understand in letter writing, you have subject line and this subject also, you know, serves the same or similar kind of function. But what you can do is you can write a full fledged sentence as well. Urgent information required regarding fee submission. Let's say you're writing to fee section of your university and you need some kind of information, you can write that. Then comes the body part. This is the body part where you simply write, uh, dear concerned, I am writing this email to ask you about the fee that is due for the semester. It is just, let's say that you are not able to see your challenge form in the uh, student portal. So you, you are asking the fee section to generate it for you or something like that. So this is the situation that I'm trying to tell. So you write it like that, that I'm writing this email to you or uh, I'm writing this email to ask you about the fee that is due for this semester. It is just that I am unable to see my Alan form at my student portal. The deadline is the uh, deadline is approaching, therefore, I need your help in this regard. Now, you see that the Gmail server or Gmail uh, format, they have this uh, suggestive words that they can give you the phrases that you can use. Now, this is one particular thing that you can write in the email address or email body. In the end, you can write regards, then you can give your name. Let's say your name is Alia. 
have needs and you give your registration ID over here and probably you can give your contact number as well. So this is how you write a formal email. Right? Now coming towards this way, this says undo and that's free do. Let's say I click undo, you will see that contact number will be gone. If I redo it, number will come back. This is uh, this function is for different kinds of uh, um, font sizes, uh, font formats and styles. These are for sizes. If I take all the text and make it huge, you will see it like this, right? If I go for large or uh, normal and then small, but I have to click the text before using all this. This is the large text. And these are different, you know, uh, sizes of the text. Then obviously in the word, you have been using these functions, bold, italicized, underlined, right? Text color, you can change text color over here. You can change the background color over here, right? Let's make it red, so it will become red. Yeah? So this is the function. The next function is called alignment. Uh, in the uh, word, we have been doing this for a long time. You take the text and you align it, either in the middle, or at the right side or at the left side. Then we have a number list that is bullet points. If I add bullet points to this text, you will be able to see this, then these are the bullets. And then you can, you can use the indentation as well. Then we have quotation marks, right? So it will become a quote. As you can see, a slight line over here, but we don't want that. So we're going to undo that. Then you have, strike through. Let's say we want to strike this part, you can do this. That, let's say you have to send an updated email to the same party and you want to eradicate or remove some information, you can do this, right? Next we have remove formatting. Now, there are different kinds of formatting. Let's say I'm going to intend it for, or I'm going to align it for the middle, for the center. Now I want to remove the um, format that I've used, I can use remove formatting. So it will become, or it will go back to the original form as you can see. All right, apart from these, you will see this uh, function, it says send and you will have schedule send. This is another uh, function of the same button or uh, same section. Then we have formatting options. If we look at this, if we click on formatting options, they will, this line, this, uh, you can say, uh, toolbox will go away. It will be hidden. Then we have attach files. This function is called attach files and you can uh, attach files over here and then you can send the files, whatever you want to attach over here. If I click on this, once you click on this, you'll be able to see your um, computer and you can attach the file from wherever you want to attach. Then we have insert link. Now, if you look at these things I've been, you know, trying to click, you'll see the shortcuts as well. For example, for inserting link, you need control plus K. So you insert either through the web address or email address. It is up to you. How do you, how do you want to use it? Then we have insert emoji. Then we have insert files using drive. You have a Google drive, right? You can use that. You already have uploaded material over there and you just need to show it or uh, you just need to attach it over here so you can go and attach. For example, if I click on this, you'll be able to see my drive. I have these folders, so uh, I can click on any of the material that I want to send. Then we have insert photo. If I want to insert a photo, I'll click on this and the photo will appear over here. Uh, next, we have uh, toggle confidential mode. Now this is for confidentiality if you want to, uh, you know, make it confidential. Then insert signature. Signature is uh, mandatory in some, uh, such cases or in some cases, and in some cases it's not so important. So these are some basic functions of, or, you know, uh, descriptions of these functions of email writing. I hope this has helped you. Uh, this has helped you to understand the basic um, components of email.